started to notice that I was going to sleep. Wanting to get to sleep as soon as possible so that I was waking up as soon as possible. And I was able to wake up 4 a.m., sometimes 3.45 a.m. It was really something transformational. And I think this is like everyone, even Marcus Aurelius is describing his struggle with waking up in the morning and his rationalization of why he should wake up in the morning, giving himself not a lot of self-love, but more approaching it from a, a discipline approach. Discipline is playing a factor, but I believe that the healthy self-love is the key. What I did a long time ago, three years now, when I realized that waking up early in the morning was really beneficial for me and for my family, I started to think about what was the easiest way to wake up early in the morning. And I started to observe myself and I saw that at night I was really, really destroyed. I was really slow and I was not accomplishing tasks. I was taking a lot of time to accomplish tasks. So I understood that the first thing was emotionally to be okay with not doing those tasks at night. So the first thing was emotionally being okay with relaxing your standards. The second thing was to go to sleep and at night when you're tired you enter in a lot of cycles of time wasting because you're weak, you just want to suit yourself and you get into these dependencies which can be watching a movie, watching a YouTube video laying on the couch and, and that time is not really rejuvenating and so what I did was as the second step to find meditations guided meditations that were resonating with me that I associated with going to sleep and so when it was coming like 9 30 instead of entering in a loop of dependency by watching YouTube videos, for example, I enter in this loop of self-love, meaning I was doing something for myself and it's something that I could be proud of. I could tell other people that I was able to enter in these guided meditations as a routine to go to sleep and by 10 I was to sleep. The third step has been to actually wake up in the morning. I used to be, probably as everyone, uh, not wanting to wake up in the morning. So usually like 7.30, 8, it was like difficult to wake up. And I think this is like everyone. Even Marcus Aurelius is describing his struggle with waking up in the morning and his rationalization of why he should wake up in the morning, giving himself not a lot of self-love, but more approaching it from a, a discipline approach. You need to wake up in the morning because that is what all the animals and all creature are doing because they're supposed to do that. This is what he's saying to himself in uh, meditations. I believe that there is a easier way, a more loving way, a more friendly way and it has to do with our fact that we are emotional human beings. So what I did, I said, what is the, I'm always starting with questions. Questions are really, really powerful because they are able to unlock aspects of reality that you never thought about. A little bit of like Zen coins. When you're asking the right question, the solution comes to you. The answer comes to you. So the right question for me was, what can I do 
that will make me want to wake up tomorrow morning? And the answer to me was to find coffee and some protein bars, a combination that was extremely appealing. Uh, I, I, I love to this day the combination, a bite of this protein bar with coffee, espresso coffee done in a particular machine that happened to be in my house by chance. I sort of train my emotional being to really love that combination. And so what I did is, okay, perfect. I'm creating a routine in the morning with coffee, bars, and then a book to read. These three things together were so appealing in the morning, even if I was reading for 10 minutes, that after a few days and probably like 10 days, I started to notice that I was going to sleep, wanting to get to sleep as soon as possible so that I was waking up as soon as possible. And I was able to wake up 4 a.m., sometimes 3.45 a.m. It was really something transformational.